A little while ago, we did a podcast, maybe about a year ago, actually. I don't know if you remember about we picked the player that would never win a ring. And um, I believe I picked Donovan Mitchell. Um, I don't know if you remember this podcast. Uh, it was a while ago. And um, obviously now he's jumped across from Utah to Cavs. And, you know, Cavs are probably, you know, potential contenders for a few years at least uh, with a core that's not too old at this point. Um, so, you know, I don't know. He's playing a better situation than the Jazz that weren't really going to go too much further than the way they did. And that's why they blew it up. But I'm going to have to say now that after everything that's shaken out in the playoffs this year, that uh, I'm going to add another name to this list that you're going to debate heavily, no doubt, is that I don't think Devin Booker's ever going to win a ring. That's my take right now. I do not think Devin Booker has the goods to win a ring. In fact, as I watched him play this uh, last series, and he has never had a better, nor will he ever have a better teammate than KD. That's the reality. Yeah, he's not going to get Steph on his team or LeBron on his team or who else is an all-time great, Dame maybe, or I don't know, you know, who else would go to the Suns. He's not going to ever get a better teammate. And maybe this is a little bit to do with the organization, of course, you know, of course. But I do not see Devin Booker winning a ring with the Suns because he does not have that ability to close out games when it matters. And this applies, this applied with the series with uh, Mavs last year, where the UIs sort of got blown out. UIs got blown out again this year. It cost Monty Williams his job uh, against the Nuggets. And uh, he reminds me a little bit of T-Mac. You know, I love T-Mac. T-Mac played for the Magic, and T-Mac scored a lot, but he was not an ultimate winner. And I think that's my opinion on Devin Booker. You got a lot of hate. Devin Booker, don't you? You know, you um Hey, the dude scores forty. To... The dude scores forty, but then he doesn't show up in an elimination game. You, okay. You, you gotta right. put the spotlight on him. You gotta like you gotta love the spotlight think... if you want it either way. That's it. I think that game six so supposedly he was he I think he did he tweak an ankle in the game or took a took a hit um that really slowed him down and he had to get pulled out. That was some press conference stuff that I listened to in the post. Um look, that Suns team, even if they had won game six. They go on to game seven to lose. That like the team was done. Chris Paul with a groin injury, Aiton with the, the the rib injury, which you could wonder if his camp's just doing that to prevent him from getting any like he look, okay. All right, sorry, you you frattled me. What are you doing? <laughs> Devin Booker. Leave Devin Booker alone. He's our he's our shining star. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swerve your take with another take. Okay. Devin Booker's gonna be fine. All right. I think Phoenix is gonna be fine. Here is something really, really important. I think DeAndre Aiton could have, but they sat him out for trade for you. Because you cannot have a center getting a hundred million a year, like sorry, over a hundred million over the next couple of years, perform that poorly and get blown out twice in two years by 30 points. I think they want to actively ship him, and that was a strategic choice to basically hide it to prevent that memory being in there so that he wasn't on the court when that team was going to get thumped. That's what I that personally that's what I feel. Phoenix, multitude of issues there, thin roster. Um, Chris Ball too old, always gets injured. DeAndre Ayton clearly does, clearly is not that dude. Lots of different things there. Devin Booker is not to blame. You leave Devin Booker alone. He's a good man. He plays hard, plays well. He I'm, does I'm, well. I'm not saying any of that. I'm, I'm saying he plays hard. I say he plays well. I say he probably can no. average 30 points a game. I'm saying yeah. he's not going to win a ring. Definitely no. not. That a, is too, a it is too premature. <laughs> too premature. <laughs> no, too premature. There, it's too premature. His his track, um, his track record is now trending towards the James Harden track record, and he just does not have uh, the goods who, to close out. It is isn't trending towards that. If you're not LeBron in the last couple of years, <laughs> if you're not LeBron in the last couple of years, hey, hey, if you're I, not LeBron in the I, last couple of years, you're I, never I, in contention. I, I, that's that's kind of how know, that's worked. I know you're a Suns fan. You love Booker. You love your Suns' potential for next year, even though everyone's a year older and CP3 is a year older and KD's a year older. And hopefully they'll all play 50 games next year if they can. All right. But I think you need a little bit of reality check that Booker is not the guy you think that's going to lead you to the promised land. He talked about being wanting to be Kobe like maybe four or five years ago, but he's not because Kobe oh, he is. is a different, you a different sort of no, cat out there. See, this is the Booker thing. is not that sort of player. Kobe, Kobe was obviously gifted Shaq in his prime at a really young age to get the three championships. Like, 
what you're referencing here is that Kobe didn't win again until he was into his 30s, right? That was the second chapter of Kobe. Unfortunately for Devin Booker, you know, he he started off with that franchise and they were awful. And he won't probably get the Kobe experience until he's also in his 30s, right? He will be in his prime and understand how to win. And he will be at that level and the team will be constructed around him to be perfect. But he won't get the five rings like Kobe did, okay? I just, I don't know why you, you can, do this. You can you know? save this it's podcast been, was, and rub it in my it was, face when you guys win a ring one day, which would be never. <laughs> okay, it was... It was a lovely day. The wind was talking to me very kindly, and I don't know why you've brought this energy into my life. I think I think this take this take is done. It's dusted. Thank you for your time. This is two guys with spare time. I'm Faz. This is Nick. You're probably a basketball fan like us, so hopefully you can throw us an assist in giving our video a like and uh, subscribing to our channel. And if you got thoughts, feelings, or even some suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And thank you for using your spare time to watch us in our spare time.